Now, guys, I found this kind of interesting, maybe even a little bit shocking. In a decade, the Census Bureau says older adults are projected to outnumber children for the first time in U.S. history, which means greater demand for health care in home caregiving and assisted living facilities. But let's face it, the cost is staggering and expected to only go higher. What is the cost for these services in the area right now? And how do you help build this into the financial plans if long term care insurance, thanks to underwriting or what have you, just isn't an option? Well, the, the cost for this can be staggering, and it can be even more staggering if you don't have a plan in place. In fact, we've got a bunch of events that we're going to be covering these three topics is, you know, how to pay for health care costs pre-65, navigating the affordable health care. We're going to be talking about transitioning into, into affordable health care, the difference between supplemental and advantage plans, and then ultimately talking about the topic of protecting your assets from long-term care and giving you solutions without buying traditional long-term care insurance, we've got those dates up on our event at ARHQ.com. Um, we'd love to have you come out. Uh, we'll walk you through this topic and give you information and how to navigate if the issue of long-term care comes up. Uh, what are some ideas? I'm going to give you two solutions, but I've got plenty that we talk about. There's actually five. Number one is a, a life leverage plan. So with a life leverage plan, it gives you the ability to leverage uh, a life insurance policy. You know, we all know there's, what, two certainties in life, death and taxes. Mm -hmm. uh, life leverage plan can kind of help those. Number one is it can help, you know, with life insurance. If you or a loved one passes away prematurely, uh, it can help protect your surviving spouse. It can pass on a bigger legacy to your loved one. Um, and because of the fact that it's life insurance, if set up correctly without it, uh, and having a properly named beneficiary, it avoids probate and avoids taxes. So uh, really good. The second one is the insurance companies of America on annuity products, they have some really good riders that are associated with them uh, that allow you to build a long-term care benefit. So you might be 65 thinking, heck, I don't need to think about this topic for 15 years, but you want to take a bucket of money and set it aside uh, for uh, what could be potential needs in long-term care. Uh, some of these annuity options that are out there are fantastic that include uh, benefits that can be paid out in cash form for activities of daily living and or, if you never need it, offer an enhanced death benefit. Uh, so again, we'll be sharing how those work uh, at our upcoming events that we have. All of those events are listed under our Medicare section at ARHQ.com. And Dave, when you look at the cost that's out there, I mean, Genward says the the average median price for assisted living is about uh, fifty four thousand. A private nursing home is one hundred eight thousand uh, dollars. So when somebody needs some long term care, uh, the cost really can add up. It can, and and my family just has been through that. My mother in law, her health started to decline, and she went back and forth between the highest the hospital and assisted living. And eventually, she needed to be put in a facility that was providing ongoing health care services. And that was $7,7500 a month. So you start thinking about, you know, this is 2024. What's that going to cost in 15, 20 years from now? Because a lot of times people don't need it until they're in their 80s. My mother-in-law was 93 when she passed. So she was 92 years old. Well, you know what? It's a good thing that she invested well and she was a good saver. It, she, her financial wherewithal was not destroyed over this. But I shudder to think what it's going to cost in 20 years for assisted living and, and long-term care. So you're better off making a, a short-term sacrifice to position some funds and put it in a, into a vehicle that has some abilities to grow because with the costs only going up, you're going to need growth in those accounts to be able to cover the increases. As time goes on, it becomes less of a possibility of long-term care, needing some form of assistance and more of a probability. And, you know, by the time that you're, you're needing that, uh, the underwriting, like I said earlier, may be prohibitive to you or just uh, too expensive. There are other options out there to prevent, to go ahead and address it head on. And so hopefully those what ifs won't become what nows. It's all part of the retirement team action plan, that whole encompassing uh, scenario, that all encompassing plan for your retirement. And that starts with reaching out by going to ARHQ.com. You can find out more about those upcoming events that uh, Nolan talked about on the events tab there at ARHQ.com. Or you can give a call, 
888-794-3030. Once again, that's 419-794-3030. want to thank you, as we always do, for joining us here on America's Retirement Headquarters, the home of the Retirement Guys Formula at America's Medicare Associates. We have a great week ahead of you. Uh, again, I uh, hope you enjoy this unofficial kickoff, this Memorial Day weekend. Don't forget what it is about. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. And as we wrap up, I want to leave you with the final word. Yeah, thanks again. Again, home of the free because of the brave. Thank you for all of our military that are out there. Uh, enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the family. And we look forward to talking to you soon. Just remember, when you think retirement, think America's Retirement Headquarters. It's home of the Retirement Guys Formula and America's Medicare Associates.